Okay, here we go. We're in Unit 10. We're talking about statistics and probability. And our next topic is box and whisker plots. Raise your hand if you want to learn about box and whisker plots. Come on, who's with me? Box and whisker plots. You know you're intrigued. What the heck is a box and whisker plot anyways? Well, we're going to find out. But in order to make a box and whisker plot, first we need data. So to get some data, I surveyed some people and asked them how old they are. And these 15 people told me that they were these 15 ages. And that's great, except it's not super helpful unless we do what we like to do with data, and that is put it in numerical order. So now I have 15 people, 15 different ages, and now that they're in numerical order, I can make a box and whisker plot. But before I make a box and whisker plot, I need to make a number line. This is kind of like when we were making a line plot. But you'll see how it's a little different. Hmm. We know where the median is. It's the middle number of the data. You can use your fingers and count inwards until you hit 39 to verify that I have indeed got the correct median there. Here's what we're going to do with the median to make a box and whisker plot. We're going to find that number 39 on the number line. And we're going to put a little line there, a little bar, a little segment. Why are we going to do that? You'll see. Here's what we're going to do next. We're going to take a look at the lower half of the data that I just highlighted here. And we're going to find the median of that. The median of that happens to be 29. And we're going to call that a lower quartile. A quartile is just a quarter marker. You know how a median marks like the middle point of the data? Well, a quartile marks a quarter point of the data, where you're like one-fourth of the way through, or 25% of the way through the data. Another way to think of a quartile is it's a median of the lower half. Maybe that helps, maybe that doesn't, but I think you can visually see where the lower quartile is because it splits the lower half into two halves. What am I going to do with the lower quartile? I'm going to mark a spot on my number line at 29 for my lower quartile, just like I marked a spot at 39 for my median, and guess what? We're not done. We're going to do the same thing with the upper half of the data. So guess where the upper quartile is going to be? Look at those numbers, and I think you can see there's my upper quartile. Wait a second. What's Michelle Obama doing on here? Michelle Obama, how would you get into this data? Anyways, we're going to take the upper quartile. We're going to put a mark there at 46. By the way, I have no idea if Michelle Obama is actually 46 years old. You can Google that to find out. All right, now what we've got is, well, we've got three little segments lined up on a number line. Great. What does that mean? What are we going to do with that? Oh, I know what we're going to do with that. We're going to make a little box. We're going to make a little rectangle, and it's a little rectangle that has a little green line in the middle of it. Cool. Well, that's the beginning of our box and whisker plot, but we're not done. We have the box. We don't have the whiskers. Oh, hey, there's a whisker. How come it went down to 19? Oh, because 19 is the lowest number in my data set. And guess what? There's going to be another whisker on the other side of the box. And guess what? It goes up to 64. Why? Because that was the highest number in my data set. That was the oldest person in my survey. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I now have a box and whisker plot. A box and whisker plot has a rectangle with a little marker in the middle of it for where the median is. The edges of the rectangle are going to be your lower quartile and your upper quartile. And then it's got whiskers growing out the left and out the right side of it. And the whisker will extend all the way to the lowest number and all the way to the highest number on the right. So the whiskers represent the range, and the box represents kind of the more middle numbers in your set. Okay, kind of a weird thing to do, but 
there you have it. That's a box and whisker plot. Some box and whisker plots are fairly evenly spaced out. Some are all crazy, where the rectangle is kind of like, well, the middle of the rectangle isn't really in the middle, and the left whisker is shorter than the right whisker, or some have equal whiskers, and some have one short, long, one, yeah, the whiskers can be different too, and it all just depends on what the data is that you start with. So you never really know how the box and whisker plot is going to come out until you start to take a look at the numbers. So here's what you need to know. Here's a summary. The median is where you draw the little middle. And you have to line up that median with your number line. So on this example, the median is, I don't know, about 68. The other edges of the rectangle are going to be your lower quartile on the left and your upper quartile on the right. So in this case, I would say your lower quartile is probably 51 or 52, and your upper quartile is probably 86 or 87. And then the whiskers give you the whole range of the data set. So I would say that the lowest number in this data set is probably 18, 17 or 18, and the highest number in this data set is probably 100. And that's how a box and whisker plot works. So, here's a practice problem. Make a box and whisker plot for this data. That's the same data that we used for our practice problem yesterday, by the way. And if you need to go back and rewind, go back and rewind. If you need to put these numbers in order from least to greatest, and you do, go ahead and go back and put these numbers in order from least to greatest. Then look for a median. Then look for a lower quartile. Then look for an upper quartile. And then see how low your left whisker is going to go and how high your right whisker is going to go. Line it all up against a number line, and you'll have yourself a beautiful little box and whisker plot. There you have it. Adios.